If you just picked up a new Samsung Galaxy smartphone or tablet, then it's safe to say that you found a number of applications pre-installed on your device. And many of them are going to be apps that you will never even use. So today, I wanted to highlight over 30 different bloatware applications that are safe to remove. And many of you will find all of these on your new Samsung smartphone. First, I would like to point out all of the pre-installed apps that are made by Samsung themselves. It makes sense for the OEM to install apps that they feel are useful or that can make them some money. But you'll be happy to learn that all of these can either be disabled through the traditional app info page, or you can find the package name for said application and then manually uninstall them with a popular ADB command that I've shown here on this channel. These apps include Samsung Smart Switch, Smart Things, Samsung Wallet, Game Launcher, Samsung Health, Galaxy Store, Samsung Internet, Samsung Cloud, Galaxy Themes, Samsung Notes, Bixby, Samsung Pass, Samsung Members, Samsung Dex, Samsung Kids, Samsung Global Goals, Samsung Health Monitor, Galaxy Wearable, Game Booster Plus, and finally, Pinup. Removing these apps from your phone will not break your device in any way, but you should be aware that some features rely on these apps to be installed. For example, it's logical to assume that we cannot use anything that relies on Bixby if we disable that application on our Samsung Galaxy S25. You should also realize that removing Samsung Pass and Samsung Wallet will prevent you from using your phone to pay for things using those services. So it's a good idea to think things through and only remove applications that you will not rely on in any way. Samsung Galaxy phones and tablets also come with lots of bloatware applications from Google as well. And there are lots of people within the community that do their best to avoid Google services any chance they get, which can be smart if you value your private data since we all know how greedy Google can get when it comes to harvesting said data on Android. But you should know that it is safe to uninstall or disable apps like Google Wallet, Google Drive, Google Photos, Google Calendar, Gmail, Google Maps, Google TV, YouTube, and Find My Mobile. These are all apps or services that have been developed by Google, and they will try to send some of your data back to the Mountain View tech giant. There are also going to be a number of apps that are pre-installed on your Samsung Galaxy smartphone or tablet that don't come from either of these two companies. Microsoft has been getting some of their apps pre-installed on Android smartphones right out of the box, including LinkedIn, Microsoft Office, Microsoft Outlook, and possibly some others as well. Meta has also been a customer of Samsung as they've been paying to get Facebook pre-installed on these Android phones as well. So if you see anything like Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp, or Messenger, then it's safe to remove those as well. I've even seen Facebook include hidden system apps pre-installed that do not appear as an application icon on your home screen or in the application drawer. So it may be a good idea to search for the words Meta or Facebook within the Apps section of your Settings application. Then grab those package names and remove those with the ADB command 
that I mentioned earlier. Now, speaking of that ADV command, I will highlight what the command is here, but I do want to prevent this video from being longer than it needs to be. So if you need any additional help in this area, then I'll include a dedicated guide that I've already done showing you how to use ADB to uninstall bloatware on phones like the Samsung Galaxy S24 series. It will require you to have ADB and Fastboot tools installed on your PC, and you will need to enable developer mode so that you can toggle the USB debugging feature on. But again, if you need help with any of this, then please feel free to use the comment section below to ask. I can't promise that I'll be able to help everyone, but I will help when I'm able to. So you will need to drop into an ADB shell first, and then you can execute the command PM space uninstall space dash K space dash dash user space zero space and then the package name. If everything goes correctly, you'll see a success message, and that will uninstall the application from the default user account, preventing you from launching the application yourself and preventing the service from being active in the background. This will save some battery life since those apps will not be allowed to run in the background, and it will also help clean up the app drawer and the home screen from application icons that you will never use. I don't see the issue of bloatware ending anytime soon, but I do appreciate that we have the ability to either disable the application directly within the Android operating system, or at least being able to use the ADB command mentioned in this video. So take back control of the hardware that you paid for and remove those apps that are safe to uninstall. Not only will you gain a bit of performance boost, but you'll also see your battery lasting a bit longer since you won't have those apps running in the background. Now, as always, let me know if you've ran into any issues following today's guide. And please, don't forget to like this video while also subscribing to the channel for more Android content like this.